Don't let the valley of despair rob you from what's waiting on the other side. Every time that you start something new, you are gonna get excited as hell. You are gonna be on a high. You can't wait to jump on it. You're gonna get obsessed with it because that's the only way to win. Whatever you become obsessed with is where you win. There's like some saying, your, your focus is your pocus or something, I don't know. Wherever you put your energy and focus, you will be able to crush and you will be able to go to the next level. And so if you can become obsessed with something, it's the fastest way to get there. But here's the thing. You are on a high, you can't wait to get started. This is the greatest thing ever, and so you are right here. And your goal, where you wanna to get to, is up here, it's the next level. But waiting somewhere in the middle, somewhere right around here, is this valley of despair. It's when it starts to hit you, this is pretty hard. I thought I was gonna get more traction. I thought I was gonna get more support. I thought people were gonna help me. No one understands what I'm talking about. I'm soft launching this product and I thought I would get people to beta test it. No one wants to give me time. No one wants to test this. It's the valley of despair. You're here, you're starting, you are excited. On the other side are amazing things that are even higher, they're even better. They're way off camera. But between them is the valley of despair. And the question you have to ask yourself is when you get there, will you recognize that you're there? Will you know that if you just push through, greater things wait for you? So we see this all the time, even with the stuff that I'm doing in these videos. Super exciting for me to sit on a plane with my friend Evan in November on the way back from Tony Robbins and for me to tell him, I am gonna start making these videos. I am gonna start a YouTube channel. I'm gonna start on Instagram. I'm gonna post stuff every day. And not only every day, I'm gonna release 10 minutes of content seven days per week. 70 minutes of content a week. And I'm gonna release a photo every day on Instagram. I'm gonna do all these things. Pretty exciting to set up the plan. And then, you know what, that was November. Uh, what, December hits? I'm supposed to have my videographer start on January 2nd. They pull out. Now I don't have anyone to help me. Now I'm all alone. I'm also two months into this, not getting much traction. Thought I'd have 500 more followers. Guess what I had, 42 more followers. Seems hard. Why should I keep going? Or maybe you started a business. I can remember when I started my business. It was exciting. It was an energy. I couldn't wait. I got into the office. I remember my very first day. I set up my phone. I set everything up and I sit down at my desk and I open my laptop. It's 10.30 in the morning now at this point. And I go, okay, now what? And I call my mom up and I say, I don't know what to do now. I started my business. It's my first day here. Already checked my emails. This was in 2006. Didn't have any to waste any time on social media back then. Now what? Now what do I do? After one day, the valley of despair hits me. <laughs> and it was a slow slog out to the next level, to the next level, to the next level. Maybe you're there right now in your business. Or maybe it's just your personal life. Maybe you're dealing with things in health. Maybe you're trying to get fit like I am. Maybe it's things with your relationships. It's easy to get excited. It's hard when it's hard, but you have to be able to push through because the only way to go from where you are today to become the person that you can be, to take your company from where it is today, to turn it into the type of company that it can be, is to push through that valley of loneliness and despair and hopelessness, and it happens to everyone. If you're in there right now, the answer is to push through. And the only way to push through is to take action. You have to get up every day and decide what the one thing is that you are going to accomplish that day that helps you take a tiny step forward. So in December, when I was all depressed about what I was doing on Instagram and my 42 followers, Guess what, in the month of January, I gained 60 followers that month alone. And even though I'm releasing posts every day and some of them are great, some of them are terrible, I know that I'm still getting better because I've made a commitment to do it every day and so I'm doing it. And when my videographer walked out on me on January 2nd and wouldn't start, we went out and we found Jason. Right, Jason? Yep. Even better, <laughs> even better. And so I've pushed through. I was excited, I was down, and now I'm excited again. Guess what's around the corner for me? What's gonna happen next, Jason? You're gonna fail. I'm, <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm gonna hit another valley. I'm not gonna fail. I'm gonna hit another valley, right? Because I, let's, let's start here. I start here, and then I hit the valley, and then I hit here. And then, whew, flash forward that, I'm now here. I'm gonna hit another valley. 
and I'm going to have to push through. All that life is is peaks and valleys. There's this great documentary on Netflix about Quincy Jones. And in that documentary, someone says, you take care of the valleys and the peaks will take care of themselves. You may be in a valley today, but the peak is around the corner. You may be in a peak today. Unfortunately, a valley might be coming. You just have to get ready. You have to push through because the truth is, if you don't give up, you will get there. And the other truth is, you have to think big, you have to be bold, you have to say yes. Hold on, let me find a quote here. Instagram, 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 Instagram. Keep it rolling, this is gold. Oh man, I don't know where I, I've had this Quincy Jones quote. Oh, here we go. <laughs> 